Well, we're looking at the first Piccadilly Line train, uh, which Siemens are building for TfL. This is the first of 94 trains that will be introduced to the Piccadilly Line, with the first one going into service in 2025. When you actually get on this train, you'll see visually it's bigger, spacious, it's designed that way. This train is designed with the maximum um, envelope that was possible, so that allows us to get 10% more people on the train. So we've got 1,049 people can get on a nine car train and it's 130 meters in length. Now that's not the only thing that's special about this train because also it takes 20% less energy, which was a key uh, design criteria. So that's gonna be better for Transport for London to operate, obviously reduce their OPEX costs in the future. And it's also a lot lighter than any other train. It's designed specifically to be lighter, so it's more track friendly. And we've done that by actually reducing the number of bogies on the train. Uh, and if you, if you look at a conventional nine car train, you'd expect to have 18 bogies. This train only has 10 bogies. It's not just about the, um, the weight of the train. It's also, this creates space. So the whole innovation about the design of this train is how you fit all these modern features onto such a small train. So we've created more space in the underframe by not having bogies. So that was a key, that's a key concept. So we've now got air cooling systems uh, under the floor. Everything is actually under the floor, under the seats. There's nothing in the roof that because we pushed the envelope to the maximum. And and that allows us to put all the modern type equipment on but it's not just standard modern equipment we've had to shrink everything so air, batteries air cooling units are all are all they're not standard they've been designed specifically for this train the test track facility here allows us to continually test trains and that, that sounds obvious but obviously in a, if you're trying to do that in an environment that's either operational you only get very short hours we, we worked we can work 24 7 here if we need to so we are, the whole thing about testing is is finding if there's any issues with the train and we want to find issues with the train on this test track that's the whole point the last thing you want is an issue on a train when you get into service so that's the whole um, that's the rationale about really putting a train through its paces uh, at Wilden Rath. We, we built the, the factory in Gaul to produce at least 50% of the trains for the Piccadilly line. Uh, we're looking at how we can increase that. It will certainly, if TfL get the funding for Bakerloo line, which we all hope, the Bakerloo line trains will be made at Gaul, as will the central line. That's the plan. So this is the first test train. This will be on test for the next 12 months. With other trains that will join it, we'll be basically doing testing it on two trains in parallel to test all the type tests, which basically means we test all the design criteria so we, we can sign off the safety certification and then the train can be delivered to London next year. The first train in service will be in 2025. Our capacity to out two factories, we can push a train out every week if we, if we choose to. It will actually depend on what TFO want and that's still under discussion in terms of how they want to uh, ramp up their timetable and how we get how they bring the old stock out and the new stock in unfortunately the signaling is not there yet and that means that we can only go to 27 trains per hour uh, on conventional signaling that's why they need the funding to do the signaling on a piccadilly line so that we can get it up to similar to what's on the victoria line we are only waiting every 90 seconds for a train you can see it's an absolutely fantastic new train, it's a game changer, so it's being built to make the best use of the space in the carriage, the doors are wider, the train is wider, the new air conditioning which is going to be a first for deep tube underground is, is, is under the train, so the space in the train is 10% bigger, better passenger information, the lighting is really good, it's just a great train, it's going to be really reliable, it's going to be a fantastic experience, it's going to come to London to start our own intensive testing next year and then in 2025 you'll all be able to get on it yourself progressively as they come into service you can judge it yourself but i think everyone here today has just seen what a fantastic train it is it's a game changer for london it's a game changer for our customers and it's really going to help us with making sure we are efficient organization going forward the more we invest so we need to replace our Bakerloo line trains so the existing Bakerloo line trains are a little bit older than our old Piccadilly line trains yeah so we need funding from government we cannot fund this from our fare box 
We are being as efficient on our operating costs and our capital efficiencies as we can. We will continue that relentless journey, but to be able to invest in these sorts of trains and signalling, we need help from government. So that's what we're asking for and we're hopeful.